is the companion video to episode 11, Batching Out American Flags. Now, if you haven't seen that one yet, I'll leave a link in the cards as well as in the description. This video will be broken up into three parts, details, repeat, and hourly wage. Details, what you might want to pay attention to, repeat, if I batch this out again, what would I do differently? And three, hourly rate, I would get paid per hour if I had all the tools ahead of time. So it's just the materials versus hours. Detail, stencil, there is a right way round and an upside down. Right way round, one point up, facing up, two down. Two up, that is facing down, that's upside down. Union, so even though I don't chamfer the slats between each strip, I do chamfer the bottom as well as the side and the top. It just kind of gives it one good sort of look as one piece, as one union, and it's easier when spray painting to keep the detail of the stars. Any manufactured stamps, do not burn them away, sand them away. Box cutter, when you're cutting your line to divide the two stain colors of the union and the stripes, make sure you hold that box cutter really tight to your straight edge so it does not veer into the union or the wood. Burning the wood, I, in short, I wish I would have burned each piece more so it would stand out. Varathane from Lowe's and uh, Minwax from Home Depot. Varathane is more watery and it bleeds. The Minwax acts more like paint and it's easier to cut a line and hold that line, especially if you're using the box cutter method in the video. Even though this is more expensive, it's $2 more, I would go with Minwax if you can find it. Chamfered edges. My first intention when I made my first flag was to not have chamfered edges. I was doing some painting, I painted some, I set them to the side to dry and the white and the red were too close together and they stuck together and I was trying to pull them apart and it ripped. So I thought my first flag I would do, I would chamfer the edges. And after I chamfered it, I liked it. I'm a sucker for a chamfer now that I have it. So I kept them all like that. You see some dimension here and it's also, uh, it hides any imperfections as far as one being a little bit higher than the other. Whereas if they're flat all the way together, there's gonna be some uh, discrepancy that you can see. Stencils. In short, if I was gonna bash this out again, I would buy a couple more stencils. This takes the longest time when you're spray painting. You have to take breaks in between so it doesn't bleed through if it's too wet. Burning, I would hold the torch closer to the wood and not be afraid and burn it more liberally and go quicker as I am burning with the grain. Torch hose extension. Since I have it now, uh, if I batch them out again, it's worth it. If this is the only time I've, I will ever do flags, then I'd say it's pretty darn expensive. When I uh, built my dining room table, I put an epoxy on the top of it, and I just had this plain propane tank with a little torch on the top, and I turned it upside down to remove the air bubbles as it was drying, and it would turn off. So this allows me to go upside down. Yes, with this project, I could have leaned all the boards up, and maybe I suggest you do that. Lean the boards up if you don't have the hose torch, if you don't want to spend the extra $70. Materials for five flags totals $188, just the materials. Subtract that from the revenue of $500 from all five flags. That results in a $312 profit. Keep in mind that I have tons of red, white, and blue stain, so it technically would be cheaper. However, I did not include the nails uh, from the frame and I did not include the screws, so it's a wash. If it took me 10 hours to complete all the flags, that's two hours per flag, that would be about $31 per hour. It realistically probably took me closer to three hours a flag for these five flags, which is still right at $20 an hour. Um, if I batch five flags out again, I could probably get it down to two and a half hours uh, conservatively, and that would still be $25 an hour. So there you go. Let me know what you thought of this being a separate piece. Some people I don't think found value in this, but if you did, let me know with a thumbs up. And um, what else did I miss? And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.